Hello, I'm Dr. David Sarwer. I'm the Associate Dean for Research in the College of Public Health at Temple University. For the last 20 years, I've led a, a program of research on the psychological aspects of appearance and how they relate to plastic surgery. Much of this work has been published in Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, and it's my honor to have been asked to provide this video commentary on the recent article by Lee and colleagues titled Adolescent Desire for Cosmetic Surgery, Associations with Bullying and Psychological Functioning. Over the past decade, a number of studies have investigated young adults' interests and experiences with cosmetic procedures. In general, these studies have suggested that somewhere between 3 to 5 percent of all adolescents and young adults have undergone a procedure to improve their physical appearance. The majority of individuals in those age groups also have thought about undergoing a cosmetic procedure and believe that they may do it at some point in time later in their lives. These studies have also suggested that the individuals who are most interested in cosmetic procedures are the ones who are in fact most dissatisfied with their body image and physical appearance. And as we see with adults who present for cosmetic surgery, it appears that body image dissatisfaction is the motivational catalyst for the desire to change one's appearance. We also know in the body image literature that a number of different experiences and life events contribute to the development of body image dissatisfaction. We've long known that the experience of being teased about your appearance in childhood is a major contributor to body image dissatisfaction in children and adolescents. In fact, studies suggest that more than half of all adults report that at some point in time in their lives they've been teased about their physical appearance. Now previously, mental health professionals thought that such teasing was an innocuous rite of passage that happened to all of us and had no long-term consequences. But we know from more recent studies that the experience of being teased about your physical appearance can in fact your psychosocial functioning. And probably most cosmetic surgeons and other professionals who work in plastic surgery have had the experience of meeting with and talking to patients who can still tell them in vivid detail the painful experience of being teased about their appearance in childhood. We also know, unfortunately, for some individuals, the experience of being teased can cross over from teasing and unwanted comments to more aggressive bullying as studied by Lee and colleagues. And we also need to know that for some individuals, they can actually experience outright stigma and discrimination based on their physical appearance, a phenomenon that we often see in the craniofacial literature and among adults who have been disfigured by accidents and trauma. The paper by Lee and colleagues from the UK investigated these issues in two large samples of British teenagers. The study found that teens involved in bullying, either as the victim or the perpetrator, were significantly more interested in cosmetic surgery than those who had not been engaged in teasing at all. The investigators also found that being victimized by peers resulted in poor psychological functioning, which was also associated with a greater interest in cosmetic procedures in the future. The desire for cosmetic surgery was greatest in teens who were bullied, as well as young women as compared to young men. Lee and colleagues suggest that cosmetic surgeons should screen for the history of appearance-based bullying in their prospective patients. I would suggest that this is particularly relevant recommendation for teens and young adults presenting for cosmetic procedures, as these negative experiences may be impacting their decision to seek surgery in the first place. I would also suggest that surgeons should be aware that appearance-based teasing and bullying can take place in the context of romantic relationships, and be particularly mindful of romantic couples who present to the surgeon's office together because it may be that one partner is putting undue pressure on the other to undergo a cosmetic procedure. Much of the screening can be done by questionnaire, but in the absence of brief measures specifically designed to investigate appearance-based bullying, I would suggest that surgeons or dedicated staff members should ask about appearance-based teasing as part of a new patient's history and physical exam. I think that this can be gracefully done as a surgeon or another staff member is completing the history and physical and asking about more general psychosocial functioning.